Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to use VirtualBox snapshots. So what is a snapshot? A snapshot is simply the state of a virtual machine, VM, in an instance of time. State is all the data stored in your VM at one moment. Snapshots allow you to recover a previous version of the VM in case the VM goes to an undefined state, otherwise known as it blows up in your face. And snapshots allow you to make changes to a VM so that you can determine if you want to keep the changes or go back and revert to the original state that the VM started at. So the outcomes for this video are, I'll show you how to create a base snapshot. To make changes, I'll install JetBrains PyCharm EDU software. After that's complete, We'll revert back to the previous snapshot. And then finally, I'll show you how to delete a snapshot. So to do this on your own, the requirements would be VirtualBox installed on your host operating system, and then a valid virtual machine with an operating system installed. In my case here, I'm using Ubuntu 20.04. Here for your information is the software used in video production. I'm not going to read this off, but you can stop the video and check it out if you want. Here's some additional info, some links on more information on snapshots, and finally a disclaimer. Here I am in VirtualBox Manager, and I'm going to create a snapshot of this machine, Snapshot Ubuntu 2004. This machine is powered off, but you can also create snapshots if the virtual machine is in a saved state through VirtualBox Manager. Unfortunately, you may run into some issues if you upgrade VirtualBox while a machine is in a saved state. So I always like to do it in the powered off state. So to create a snapshot, I simply go over here, click on snapshots, and I can right click on current state and click on take, or I can click on this plus sign up here, pick snapshot. Now make sure that you have a way of remembering these snapshots because they can really get out of hand. And I'm going to call this, whoops, base state. And this is where I start. Where I'm, give as much information as you can. Click OK. So now you see you've got a snapshot. Now the next thing to do is we're going to make some changes to this current state machine, but not the base state. Once we make the changes, we're going to undo the changes. But let's go start, and the next section we'll be loading some software onto this machine. So I'm going to make some changes to Snapshot Ubuntu by trying to install PyCharm, the educational version, and we'll see how that goes. In order to do that, Go over here where it says Show Applications, click on that, type in Software, click on Ubuntu Software, PyCharm Education, it's a development environment, so I open up the development choice, and right here it is, PyCharm EDU, click on it, and click on Install. Of course, it asks for your password. Of course, once it's installed, you'll see this Remove button come up. Simply close this window. And to start PyCharm, open, go back to the, your Show Applications. Set there and type in PyCharm. Up it comes. Click on it. Up comes the JetBrains Privacy Policy. Click on I Confirm that I have read and accept the terms of this user agreement. Scroll down it. Oh, that's a quick read. Click on Continue. In my case, I'm going to choose Don't Send. Up comes the uh, PyCharm EDU. And you got two choices here, a learner or educator. In my case, I'm going to just pick Learner, and then click over here where it says Start Using Edu Tools. Okay, this is a Darkula view of PyCharm, and I'm going to switch to a lighter view because this doesn't show up very well in videos. So I'm going to go to Control-Alt-S, 
go to appearance and where it says theme IntelliJ light click OK and then click on new project it gives me a place for my projects it's made up PyCharm projects and Python project in my home directory, virtual environment, and all that stuff. Found location of my Python 3.8 version. We'll click Create. Oh, it's got an error here. Failed to create a virtual environment. We'll have to take care of that. Click OK. Up comes the software. But because we've got an error, let's fix that error. In order to fix that error, as far as the virtual environment error, I'm going to go back over here where it says Show Applications. And I'm going to type in Terminal. Up comes this terminal. And I'm going to do something here to save both of these before I start typing. In terminal, Add to Favorites. And PyCharm, Add to Favorites. To fix this virtual environment issue, I'm going to go sudo app update basically what this does is it updates where I can find my latest update and sudo apt install python 3 pip and I'm installing Python 3 pip, the latest version that Ubuntu has. And it says, do you want to continue? And we'll type a Y in for yes. It's going to go ahead and install Python 3 pip. So now I'm going to use pip, or pip3, install virtual env. This should fix the issue. Of course, you've got some warnings there. So I'm going to go back to Python project, file, new project. And I'm going to, it says project one. So we've got a new project one. Kind of automatic there. I'm just going to accept the things there. And I'm going to say this window. So you'll notice this time, didn't get that virtual environment error. It's going to take a while for it to create its indexes. And then afterwards, when there's a little green arrow shows up here on by the one, I'll run the program and you can see the output. So this right here, this green arrow, green triangle, if I click on it, should run the program. And there it is. Hi, PyCharm process finished with exit code zero. I've installed PyCharm and did the extra work to make sure that it runs correctly. Close the window. Exit. Terminal window. Now you'll notice we've got two new icons here. And they are installed in our favorites. So I'm going to shut this down. And we're going to go back to dealing with snapshots. Power off. Because I don't want to save state. I want to power it off. So now you see that it's powered off. And if I want to go back, and we've got a base state and current state. That's changed. Now if I want to, I can save that state. Right-click here, bake. And I'll call it installed PyCharm. Snapshot description, installed PyCharm. By charm and pip three and pip, which is a Python package. Just click OK. But let's revert this back to the base state and start it up, and we'll see that we'll come we'll come up a version of the snapshot that doesn't have this. So I go to base state, restore. So now I'm at the base state. If you look down here, it says snapshot Ubuntu base state. Click right here, and let's start it off. Let's start it again. Start. Do the normal start. Now I started it up from a base state, and you'll notice that I don't have any icons here, so it is back where it was before I installed PyCharm. Let's make one change here. Put in a terminal. Terminal. 
and add to favorites again. We'll close this. And then I'm going to power off. So now the current state, we have three different states here. The base state with nothing, installed with PyCharm, and the current state where I've put the terminal in the favorites. If I want to revert back to base state, I'll click Restore. Now you notice one thing that says here, it creates a snapshot of the current machine state, and then I would have to name that snapshot. So let's not create a snapshot and simply restore back to base state. And if I really don't want PyCharm installed, I'll just right click here and delete. Delete. So now I have base state and current state all together again. If you notice that's what it says base state here. And that's pretty much it for snapshots. Uh, what it does, it allows you to try different things with your virtual machine. And as long as you keep the states straight, keep track of all your states and what you've done in each state, it's a wonderful tool. Thank you for watching this video.